In this lecture, we will talk about taints and tolerations. When you submit a workload to run in a cluster, the scheduler determines where to place the pods associated with the workload. In Kubernetes, taints and tolerations are used to implement advanced scheduling. To understand this concept, let's take two nodes. One node which is in green is not tainted other node which is in blue is tainted now first let's go and deploy application one and uh, this application is not configured with tolerations that's why it cannot be deployed on a blue node so this workload gets deployed onto green node now let's go and deploy application two and if you see the config file it has tolerations declared which is matching the taint of this node now this workload gets scheduled on the blue node because uh, blue node is tainted and the pod which is getting scheduled has matching tolerations so let's go and see this in action for this demonstration i have set up eks cluster and uh, let me show the nodes part of EKS cluster. There are two nodes and right now no node is tainted. Let's taint the first node. While tainting the node, make sure we match the key and value. Key is type. Value is GPU effect is no schedule which means by default no pod gets scheduled on this node unless there is a pod which has matching tolerations now we have app1.yaml app2.yaml first let's deploy app1.yaml according to our discussion this must be scheduled on second node run kubectl command app1.yml because app1 is not having tolerations obviously it won't go on to first node it must be scheduled on to the second node let's get pods and uh, app 1 it's in running state and if you see the node it is on 6657 right this is the one and 6657 now let's go and create app 2 app 2 has tolerations which are matching the taint of this node so that app 2 gets scheduled on the first node if you check this one it has tolerations and uh, keys type uh, value is gpu and uh, operator is equals and the effect is no schedule so this is matching the taint of the node so this pod gets attracted to second node in our case it is this one let's go and deploy app 2 kubectl create hyphen f app2 dot yml i'm sorry i missed f this is in I mean first one is in running state app 2 if you see of course it is in a error status that's different story leave it but uh, the focus is it has to be scheduled on 32 to 33 because this node is tainted 